I was talking to my friend Tina the other day. Ugh. And she said, Trent, do you make something every day? I said, yeah, I definitely am making something every day. And she said, oh, wow, really? So I said, yeah, I definitely am, but I don't know if I'm finishing something every day. And she said, oh, anyway, that really annoyed me. And uh, now I want to do something every day. Finish something, finish something every day. While I was in bed yesterday with these thoughts, I made Trent's D20 weird kit bash generator, which we're about to play test. D20, oh, two D20s. This generator is really weird, by the way. Okay, six and 14. Something perfectly good, now break it. Fuck, okay. <laughs> 14, something you'll never finish. Oh, okay, well that is very, um, Introspective, isn't it? Okay, as for something perfectly good, we have this China fish. Why do I know it's perfectly good? Because my mum visited and she picked this up and she went, wow, that's a really nice bit of China. <laughs> We're gonna destroy that. I made this, which was sort of cool, but also a bit shit. Mm. Uh, mm. we do something here? This is sort of fun because there's the treasure chest and the fish. Let's smash these together. I'd normally use Milliput for this, but I'm going to use something a bit more industrial this time because it dries within like three minutes and sometimes you've just got to catch that creative wave while you have it. I just tried to mix up some different epoxy and I think this stuff has reached its shelf life since I opened it because it's not gonna mix for me. So, we'll have to use Milliput. Some Milliput scraps in here as well, just to bulk it out. Okay, well this is gonna take some time to dry. So, a couple of weeks ago I made this speaker. So this, this is vibrating and annoys the shit out of me. <laughs> Look, you know, when I'm blasting music, it's not a big deal, but when I'm listening to something moody, but also bassy, I hear this little rattling sound and it just, ah, oh, my brain. Hmm. Glue, not the answer. Okay, I have a silicon mat, maybe. Right, let's try that. Right, I want to give this guy a fishing rod. I've lost my pin vise and I'm too lazy to find it, so I'm just doing it by hand. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I just find it? There we go. Ooh, okay. You know, when I made this chest creature and I bought this fish, never did I imagine that they would be combined in such a ridiculous and fun way. Even combined at all. And maybe that's the magic of this generator. Let's let this cure and clean up and uh, work out what we're gonna do. This isn't actually paint. This is liquid green stuff, and I use it to smooth out transitions between the porcelain and the milliput. I, I bet a few of you are wondering how plants know where to be found. My book I've been making with Tina is going well. Um, it's going very good. These are all double-sided. These are all little samples and stuff that get scanned in, digitized, remixed, magified. It's a whole process, but. I'm gonna be done pretty soon. If you, if you stop buying it. You've got like 12 days until the bundle ends. I think our fish is vaguely dry enough. I think we should spray paint it. Blue. Oh, that's bright. That's something. 
think while our little fish friend dries, I'm gonna have a nap. Wake me up um, when it's dry. I guess let's try. Maybe I overslept a little bit. <laughs> um, ah, fine. Fine. Right, how do I paint you in an hour and a half? Um, <laughs> Bye.